Today's Senkel conference is about developing inclusive practice in our schools. In September of 2014, the government introduced a new special educational needs uh, code of practice, and uh, that's brought around changes in our schools in terms of how we meet uh, special educational needs. I read like nearly every day. My favourite book is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Um, my favourite book is Harry Potter and Jacqueline Wilson. My favourite book is Harry Henry and the Me Machine and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We love reading! Because of the mystified, so many things that I've always conceived about the, 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 the UK people, their culture, their food. And let me say I've really enjoyed and I have learnt what I had never known. I think it's really important that schooling uh, for children is not just left to schools. I think that the better schools will invite members of the community in and engage children with all aspects of their surroundings um, and industries around uh, and important things about where their food comes from. It's very easy to do that, you know, uh, in a simple way at a blackboard uh, and give them facts, but it's so much better for them to see it in real life and working with sort of the uh, the people in their local communities to bring those lessons to life to, like we have here, a live cow in the school this will be the first time that some of these kids have got this close to a, a live cow and understand the importance of, of local food, of food miles, of, of supporting local farmers and that's, that's what great schooling is all about. My role was organising the event, so we've been getting in touch with em local employers, getting them in. Um, we've got a lot of employers who are looking for apprentices at the moment, um, so it's just really getting them in here, getting them, um, you know, doing some practical demonstrations that um, you know people can look at. They can ask them questions and and just really see what see what it's all about. I'm seeking an apprenticeship, uh, what in engineering possibly or uh, business. That they're my two main in areas of interest. The good news is schools make the difference and the bad news is schools make the difference. And schools can't function effectively without great governance. And so I'm delighted to be working here today with so many people, school governors who've given up their time so freely to help our children. launching a, a balloon into space and we got an astronaut Tim Peake to name our mission and it's called Ballistic, Ballistic balloon. balloon. It's been really good and I don't want it to end. Space is such an interesting project or an interesting subject. And then it, it like ties in with everything. It can tie in with our maths, our art and it also ties in with PE because of like Mission X training. I think it's so important that young people have the opportunity to compete in sporting events. Sporting events like these are so important because young people will get to experience the feeling of winning and losing, test their resilience, determination, which are really key skills that they can transfer on into their daily lives. It's good because um, if you have a dream to like be an Olympian, then you can achieve it. Yeah. I 
enjoy most about school, well, learning, first of all, I like to learn, but I think especially at Poynton, it's the atmosphere around school. I think everyone generally cares about each other. It's a very friendly atmosphere. It's just a nice place to be. I wouldn't have succeeded what I've got to now without the help of the teachers. Um, but yeah, the friendly side, the interpersonal side, like you said, is, a, is another important factor which I feel has been met surpassed really in points. I think everyone at the academy is dead friendly and supportive of whatever you do. And we've also got the opportunity to come to music at break and lunch and that also like makes people like really happy because you can just come to chill out or yeah, like or come to practice. If you've never learned an instrument before, someone will come over and help you learn. Yeah, it. like lots of, there's lots of people around you that like know how to play at least an instrument. So we always help each other out. I'm probably looking forward. Um, well, I've seen some of the primary schools who have played first and they were pretty good <laughs> and I'm excited I mean because I kind of I love performing and being on stage and singing so I think I'm pretty excited for that as well. It's for anyone and it's so like once you get into it you know you enjoy it and if it it's just so, it's so fun. <laughs> Just before Christmas, as a group of us got together and came up with this idea of the Crew Pledge, where we get the businesses, the schools, the colleges and our young people all working together so that we can actually develop this amazing talent that we have in Crew. Um, and I, I'm just absolutely thrilled that from four people we've now got all those people we had today, over a hundred people have committed and pledged to help those young people in Crew. And the thing is, it's, it's not just about helping those young people quite selfish really because it's for our benefit as well because when we've got young people in our businesses they're the ones who've got the new ideas they're the ones who've got the amazing energy and they're the ones that we want to keep if they've eaten properly at lunchtime it, it gives them the energy to learn better and if they've drunk plenty of water and everything and it's it's a good life skill to take through throughout their years, isn't it, to be able to eat well and, and have healthy things, make healthy choices. I think we do, it just really embodies a strong sense of community. We get everybody on board. People are just so willing to give up their free times. You know, rainy Saturday morning, you don't get many places where everybody will come in, you know, and, and lend a hand. It's just been brilliant, isn't it? What I've got today from today's motivational masterclass is that um, it sort of like helped me to make sure that I'm revising the most I can, to try and get the best grades I can, and to push me on that last little bit as well as the support that I received from school. Well, it's been a real pleasure to be here this morning with the uh, children of uh, Bosley and Winkle Primary Schools. Um, they're very small rural schools um, who work very closely together um, and to be able to come together to celebrate these major events in their school life and to have somebody who will come to share that with them, who give them a sense of, of um, being valued and appreciated, um, I think is, is really important. What we try to do is make everything real. Um, so last week we've had some caterpillars delivered, the week before the fire service were in, um, another week the dentist lady was in not long ago. So this week the children have been showing an interest in the emergency services. So we called upon our local PCOs and they came in to visit the children. Cheshire East is a great place to learn because 90% of our schools are good or outstanding in, as, as Ofsted judgments. The amount of opportunities that are here and that are being given to us, it's really great. Yeah.